Talking right now with Adam Ewalt from the uh, Glen Ralston Wildcats after a doubleheader sweep tonight. Uh, first game over a Derek Casey in the second game. Hard fought three to one victory uh, over uh, the Ottoman Wheelers. Adam, that first game tonight got on base every time, scored every time. Uh, take us through uh, how you felt at the plate in that first game. Well, I felt pretty confident. Uh, you always have that confidence up at the plate. Uh, it's so baseball's so mental. Yeah, if you're weak, then uh, you might as well not be out here. So. Um, it's a tough. So I felt I felt pretty good up there. Uh, aggressive on the base pass, uh, kind of taking that lead off uh, hitter role uh, to what it needs to be, uh, out stealing bases and all, almost tried to steal home tonight. Yeah, coach put me in the he's put me in lead off spot last couple games. Uh, I take pride in it. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. I'm like the only lead off catcher in the state, so um, I think I got some decent wheels to get around the base path. Um, if I would have scored at home there, I'd have been pretty sweet. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was pretty neat. What do, what do you feel like that role is as, as a leadoff guy? As a leadoff guy, uh, you got to get on base because, I mean, you got kids like uh, Brady Danner in the three hole and Clayton Christian in the four, four hole and Noah in the five hole. And, hey, they kill it, so uh, they'll drive you in. So, And we need runs. Why do you think Coach put you in that leadoff role? Uh, I'm pretty disciplined at the plate. Uh, uh, I don't get over aggressive sometimes, but um, I'm pretty patient and uh, I like to get on base, so I use my wheels. Take us through that last play uh, of the Adair Gacy game, or almost last play. You almost scored, but the ball was kind of fouled back. Uh, it was suicide squeeze, I, I understand, was kind of the call. Yeah, he told us coming out there that. Uh, if I got on, we were gonna get me over to second, and I'll get to third. And Brady was gonna bring me in with a suicide squeeze, and I knew that once the pitcher comes set, that he wasn't looking at me. And um, I felt I was half, I was three fourths way down the line, so I think I would have been there even if the bunt would have would have been uh, fouled. So. The one question I got to ask, and I talked to Coach Corson about it after that first game, is that you were able to steal third earlier in the game. Why did you guys need to sack bunch you over to third there in that last inning? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I guess he wasn't confident in, in my wheels at that time. Uh, uh, whatever Coach does, I'm, I'm all for it. So. Talk about the pitchers tonight for you guys. Uh, you guys had a solid night on the hill. Uh, gave what up a total of two runs uh, in the two ball games here tonight. Four hits uh, in this second game. What'd you see from your pitchers tonight? I feel like we threw everybody but me. So I'm <laughs> still waiting for my uh, innings. But no, they came out and they threw smoke. Uh, they knew what we had to do, and uh, they had to throw strikes. Wanted to keep the walks down. So um, get the strikes. Get the strikes in and keeping the walks down. It's a it's a winning uh, equation there. Uh, Do you feel like you were in a rhythm with both guys? Uh, yeah, the second game. Yeah. Yeah, they. Uh, of course, he he knew he was gonna rotate, uh, throw him, throw him off a little bit, but they kept they kept focus and they come up and they come up to the mound and they were ready to go. So. Yeah. Well, Adam, I appreciate you joining us. Congratulations on that doubleheader victory here tonight. Yeah, thanks, Jeff.